previously on the project. What the hell was that? Ah! That's right, take it. Well, there you have it, guys. My ZJ exhaust is now on the driveway. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Dan H, and today on the project, we are going to put this exhaust back up in the General Grievous ZJ. Um, <laughs> last video, this thing fell out on me when I was on my way to the parts store to do the trans fluid change, and uh, today we got to put it back in. Um, it's still miserable out. It's still wet from all that rain. I think I'm still wet from all that rain yesterday. But uh, yeah, I want to get this thing down ASAP because I broke one of my own rules. I didn't use wood under my jack stands and they're sinking into my driveway. So I want to get this done, get this down. And I'm also very excited to try out the, uh, the new transmission fluid, see if it works, uh, see if it doesn't slip anymore. So got to get this started. Um, got to get these connectors in. Uh, let's see, it rotted out above the cat, so I had to cut this clean to get some measurements, find out what diameter it was, and uh, I also had to sawzall this part off of here. So, um, gonna get these uh, connectors welded on, gonna slide it in, then weld them together. Alright, now we can get started. Okay, now the first piece I'm gonna be working with it's going to be this two and a half inch inner diameter to two and a half inch outer diameter adapter. Now this slides right on here. So I'm going to try to force this end. This end into here. Now it's almost there. Um, this piece looks like it was welded in uh, when they originally installed this. So uh, it's close enough. I'm just gonna grind up the inside, clean it up, then weld on this piece first. So I'll go ahead and do that. All right, guys, got the exhaust. Um, actually, it's the cat propped up in the vise, and you know what? This heat shield's a piece of crap. I'm taking it off. I don't need it. <laughs> Talk about rigged. Anybody need some hose clamps? <laughs> Gross. Uh, yeah. Smell you later. Heat shield. <clears throat> All right. Got this nice and secure. And what I'm gonna do is, I got this uh, flap disc on the Dremel, and I'm going to try this out. I got it a long time ago, I never actually used it. So today's the day we test it out. Just going to clean up all the inside on this. Alrighty, we're going, uh, we're going safety first today. Goggles and gloves. Safety first, safety first, then teamwork. Safety, safety first, then teamwork. I'm going to stuff some paper towels in here to keep this clean inside. I don't want any uh, crap building up clogging up my cat. Cool. It's got a nice fit in there. Just gonna clean it up a little bit more. Then I'll tap it in with a hammer. Nice. Now, I'm going to clean up the outside. Flip, 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 flip Philadelphia. Flip, flip, flip Philadelphia.
Cool. We've got a fairly clean surface. I'm just going to wire wheel this thing, buff it up real nice, clean it up for the weld. All right, guys. Let's see if I can get some nice clean welds for you. <laughs> so far not pretty, but I'm learning. <laughs> flip, flip, flip a deal for you. Alright guys, you know, not terrible. I think the hardest part for me is just staying at a consistent speed and uh, you know feeling out how to learn that puddle. Uh, I'm still trying to get used to seeing what I'm working on with that mask on. So you know, I'm, um, yeah, I guess I'm learning. It'll come in time. Either way, I'm getting the job done. So that's cool. All right, I'm gonna clean up the inside of this. Then I'm gonna clean up the outside of the pipe, dangling from the general. And I'm also going to chop this and. Uh, fit that other pipe onto it. All right, keep on working. Got to keep on keeping on. I don't know what this means. I do things sometimes. I don't know what it means. Eh, that means like, uh, I don't know. Eh, whatever. All right, and I'm just going to cut off these lumpy, disgusting welds. Put my saws all. <laughs> Bye, Therese. Bye, Therese. Get another one, you moron. All right. Now I'm going to cut off these lumpy welds with my sawzall. Not this piece. Now we're getting somewhere. This one could work. There we go. <laughs> A good thing this fits. All right, I'm gonna have to whack this on all the way now. We'll make it official. All right, guys. So here's what I did. I lowered the front end, and then I moved the jack stands to the body to let the rear end dangle. And now I'm going to fish the exhaust up through here. Uh, you know what, before I do that, might as well go ahead and clean up this first. All right, we got the cat and the muffler laid in its place. We got this semi cleaned up. Hopefully the uh, welds will stick. And uh, let me just grab this piece, the tailpipe, and now we gotta fish this sucker through and over the rear. So uh, let me set you up, and then you could watch me make a fool of myself. <laughs> well, guys, you know I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I had to make this thing better. Uh, I went and took the braided wheel and. <laughs> I spun this thing clean, so now I'm going to put it in. Mm. 
All right, over the track bar, under the sway bar, I think. Over the track bar, under the sway bar. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Let's see if it lets me hook everything else up. Ah. Come on, man, I know you feel it. There we go. Yes. All right. <laughs> I think this is on. Well, let's flip towards the front. Yes. <laughs> Give myself a round of applause. Woo! I'm gonna silicone spray this thing. Help it slide right on the rubber. Boom. Easy as pie. All right, guys, I did it. After much jostling and wiggling around, it finally fits in there. So, yeah, that's how it's gonna be. Let me show you from the tailpipe side. There we go. Got it in its hanger. And there. All right, guys, let's ball her in. I think that's good enough for this front portion. Uh. Let's step it back a couple feet. Oh my goodness. I cannot reach this at all. I think I'm done. <laughs> Alright guys, I went inside to get my keys and what do you know, raining again. <sighs> what a miserable couple days. So, hey, at least I got the job done, right? Let's see, moment of truth. Ugh. Hey, purrs like a kitten. Let's go this way. Sound like this any leaks. Fantastic! Woohoo! Alright. Let's get this off the jack stands and go for a little ride. Alright guys. Reverse. Ooh. Shifts into reverse, nice. <laughs> Shifts into drive nice. Let's do it, baby. Nice. Nice. Still gotta fix that gargle, though. Oh, yeah. 
That's <laughs> so smooth. Oh, she feels brand new. All right, gonna get on it a little bit, see how she shifts zero to 60. Oh, look out, dear. Oh, 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 man, I told you, deer are everywhere out here. I almost smoked Bambi. Not today, Bambi. The general is changing gears well. It's shifting well. I think we solved the slipping of the 4.2 RE. Um, I'm gonna call that one a wrap. And the exhaust sounds good. So, boom, fix two problems. One per video, which isn't great, but you didn't really know until I posted this one. So, yeah, I'm gonna call that a success. So, <laughs> uh, time to go dry off again. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you.